I'm Phoenix Alexander, author of Turning Trials into Triumphs, The Way of the Phoenix. It's available on Amazon and on my website, mynameisphoenix.com. That's www.mynameisphoenix.com. So this is my travel blog. We are filming on location in the middle of the ocean on our way to Cozumel on a Western Caribbean cruise. So let's talk about some of the things that you might encounter as you're traveling that you might not want to encounter, that being bed bugs. It becomes a big problem if you bring those home to you. So we're going to talk about aromatherapy. The last chapter in my book is about aromatherapy and how you can use it in your everyday life. So let's talk about as you're traveling, what are some of the things that you can do to avoid bed bugs? Well, first of all, is bed bugs a problem? Yes, it is. When I was growing up, we heard the little phrase, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. But I actually didn't know anyone who'd ever encountered bed bugs until now. This has really changed. We actually have infestations in many of the large cities. I'm from the Seattle area, and one of my clients is a corporate housing specialist. And she's talked to me many times about having to take her clients and move them to different apartments because of the bed bug infestations. And some of the ways that they treat them is through steaming the whole apartment, getting up to a very high heat. They detect bed bugs by bringing in dog that sniff out the bed bugs. That's kind of gross. And apparently they're very busy. So you might encounter bed bugs, but we don't want you to bring them home. So I suggest using aromatherapy as a deterrent and in some cases they will even kill the bed bugs. So the first thing you're going to do as you come into your room, or in this case a cabin, is to set your luggage in the bathroom. You want to set it on the hard surface, on the floor, and then even afterwards, after you've inspected, you can keep your luggage on the hard surfaces, dressers, the luggage rack, that sort of thing. The bed bugs like to hang out in the upholstery and the carpeting. Although in my research and with my client, she mentioned that they can be in electrical outlets, they can get in the lamps. So as you come in the room, you're going to inspect the baseboards, check the drawers, use a flashlight, and preferably if you do it in the dark, that's better because they're nocturnal. We have a lot of sunshine here today, so we'll be using that natural lighting. So let's uh, show you how you can inspect your bed before you get in. So we're just going to come right over here. The first thing you're going to do is pull back the covers and the sheets and get all the way down to the mattress. Get under the mattress pad. And you're going to want to get right here where they like to hide in the seams. And you would find either bed bug eggs or the casings which they shed or sometimes you'll see little stains that look like fly droppings or ink spots but they're actually the excrement from the bed bugs that's filled with blood we don't want to keep that so this looks really nice and clean and one of the ways that you can deter bed bugs is through essential oils which is aromatherapy so I'm I mixed up an essential oil blend before we left and I keep it in an amber bottle that's really important because essential oils oxidize and it reduces their therapeutic value so what I put in my bed bug blend is a number of very potent essential oils and I use them 20 drops a piece so what are they we're well, starting first with the trees they're easy to remember cedarwood eucalyptus and tea tree now besides deterring bed bugs one of the things that those essential oils would do is to open up your lungs and sinuses which is important it's going to also help stimulate your immune system we're all exposed to all kinds of different viruses and different pathogens and it's really important to stay well on your vacation so that you're healthy that will help do it the next group is the herbs so we have peppermint lemongrass and the spices cinnamon clove and thyme those are all extremely potent essential oils and they will also help stimulate your immune system and the last one is lavender lavender is considered the universal oil it works for just about anything now if you did get 
bitten by bed bugs, which I hope you don't, or mosquitoes, lavender is an essential oil that you can use neat or straight on the skin, one of very few that you can do that. You would put it on the bug bite and it will help with the pain, it will help with the toxins, and it will help that histamine reaction. So it's going to stop itching and hurting much more quickly. So here's our blend and how much would you use? I always travel with two ounce bottles and this one has a spray top and I've pre-filled it and stuck it in my carry-on. It's got one ounce of rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol will help to kill the bugs but it also helps as a dispersant for the essential oils. So in two ounces you can use 60 to 75 drops. You put it directly into the alcohol and then fill it with water. So I'm going to do that quickly and then you would spray that around the baseboard. You can spray that on your sheets, on the mattress. So I'll count here. Isn't that exciting? Okay, I think we got it because this is two ounces. I'm just going to just fill it now with the water. Shake it first to disperse it. Now, my cameraman, this was not his favorite smell. It wasn't very uh, pleasant in there. There we go, I spilled the water everywhere. <laughs> but it is going to really help deter, so that, that's worthwhile. And then you can spray it on the mattress, like so. Another thing that you can do to prevent before you leave is to take the Bed Bed Blend put it on a cotton ball and use it like a sachet. So you would put it a couple of drops like that. Now these are very potent. You're not going to want to get these on your clothing because they will probably stain. So you take that and enfold it. And then put that in your luggage. You could also take it like this and rub it along the outside of your luggage. And that's a way to deter them from even getting near your luggage. And last but not least, I always travel with a plug-in diffuser. This has a cotton pad that you put essential oils on, so you just put the essential oils on the pad and use your very precious outlets. In our cabin, I think we have one. <laughs> and that's a way to diffuse it into the air, and then hopefully they won't stay in your cabin and or your, your hotel room. So that's my travel blog for today. Again, I'm Phoenix Alexander, author of Turning Trials into Triumphs. Join me again on my travel blog and have a fun vacation.